Good afternoon, everybody. How's it going? John Bond. I'm here at Cape Cod Wet Shaving. Another day, another shave. Beautiful day. Hope everyone's uh, had a good uh, 10 or so days since my last video. Had spring break last week. Had the kids. My wife still had to work. So that was a lot of fun. Um, it literally was. I'm being sarcastic. And I... We, excuse me, uh, ended up taking them to a place called Sky Zone. It's a trampoline park. We did that as kind of a last hurrah on Saturday. We made it through the whole week without incident. And by incident, I mean injury or calamity of any kind. I was playing dodgeball with two of my, with my sons, two of my kids. And in midair, had a ball whipped at me. So I was paying attention to that, not the way I landed. And I busted my ankle up pretty good. So I'm standing, I might hobble, I don't know, might look weird on the camera, but that's why if I'm hopping, putting one weight on one foot. So that sucked. It's all swollen and purple and, um, you know, the way it goes. So I get for thinking I'm, you know, 15 again, instead of 40, whatever. So, all right, uh, good shave today. Can't wait. Um. Start out with what I'm using. I'm going to be using sandalwood from Barrister and Man. This is the uh, Omnibus. This is the newest one. Just came out. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get a hold of this stuff. Um, also got the matching balm and splash. This stuff is amazing. It really is. So, oh, it smells so good. People have been asking me, what does it smell like? How's it going, Chad? Um, Chad had said that he likes dry sandalwood. And once he said dry sandalwood, I went, okay, that makes sense. That actually fit perfectly, man. Thank you. So this, I would compare this. So instead of holding like a dry, like, you know, bone dry piece of sandalwood and, and sniffing that, this would be like you broke a branch off the tree and you were smelling that branch that's still alive, I guess is the best way to, to describe it because this almost has a it has a little bit of a green but almost kind of a nutty um kind of scent to it i love it i immediately immediately liked it uh out of the tub I, i've lathered with it i've i've shaved with it one time this is the first time i'm doing it on camera um it it, blo it blooms in in so many good ways like this is definitely i think one of my favorite barrister mans if not the favorite i have right now even over seville um, I don't have Omnibus Seville, but uh, believe it or not, Vespers has been my favorite that I own right now. And this, I think, topped it. So I am looking forward to this shave very much. I did do a safety razor the first time I used this stuff, so I decided I'm going to do a straight razor. I'll show you that in a minute. I am using this uh, American Shaving Co. pre-shave oil, sandalwood. I don't use it that often. I really like this pre-shave oil. However... Both of them are scented. I have both the original and the sandalwood. They both have a scent. So I'm kind of picky about pairing it. I like unscented, especially with sets, because I don't want to mess up the, the, the scent of the sets. But this smells enough like the uh, sandalwood soap that I don't mind it. Um, I will be using my Solomon from Naked Armor. 6.8. It's already stropped, ready to go. I tested it. Um, for those of you who don't know straight razors a lot or just who who test it in different ways, I just take, I save all the, the shed hairs from all my brushes, usually boar, preferably boar and um, badger. I save those bristles and then I'll use them on the blade. Just, you know, the the force of me just doing that, if it cuts it, I know it's good to go. So, all right. And I'm going to be using my Vylong White Horsehair. This is a really nice brush. Uh, it's my favorite horsehair. I got this from Gareth at the Shave Supply. Hello, Gareth. Uh, I don't remember how much it was, but I do remember when I got it, it didn't match the photo in on the website. And he immediately wrote me and sent me a picture and said, hey, this it had a, the Vylong symbol on it. He said, that's not on here. Is that okay? And I kind of was like, that's odd. But obviously in retrospect, 
it's because he's a good dude and that, that's customer service right there, man. These guys in the community, the vendors too, they they like what they do. On top of business, they, they like the wet shaving themselves. So Garrett himself owns a barbershop. His wet shaving shop is run out of the other side of his barbershop. And I wish I lived in California, man. I'd go there in a second. Or Michigan. Go check out Jason. How's it going, Jason? See all these photos people put of the razor company after they just left. I'm like, son of a... Grumble, grumble. But anyway, it's enough rambling on my end. I just added some more hot water just to get the bristles hot. That's what I was doing there. All right. Let's get to lathering. Um... Oh, so another thing, as I mentioned in my other videos, um, you can get all three of these at therazorcompany.com, speaking of the Razor Company. I am going to put the links down in the description for all three, the soap, the splash, and the balm. You can click those, and if you're interested in buying them, please go that route. Or if you go off on your own, put um, Cape John in all caps when you check out and that way uh, jason will know i sent you i would really appreciate it um it's affiliation so i get 10 percent of it for sending you there that'd be cool and also if you go to the wet shaving store i was hoping to have a package from andy today hello andy in time for this video so i could also do an unboxing but um not here and i don't want to wait too much longer because i got stuff to do before my kids get home but uh, if you go to the wet shaving store and you type in Cape, Cape Cod wet shaving at checkout, you'll get 15% off. And that's another affiliate that I've entered into with Andy. So you, you actually get a discount and I get proceeds from that if I sent you. So we'd really appreciate it. Plus he's brand new. He's a really nice guy. He, he's very much into wet shaving to the point that he opened a business. I, oddly enough... I'm not good at soap making. I'm not good at any of that stuff. I'm not good at making razors. I made one that I still have yet to finish on camera. I still got to finish it. But one thing I am good at is talking to people. And my wife is very good at finances and numbers, which is what she does in her job for the military. So, we have, right at the front of my neighborhood, literally, we have this lot for sale. It's been for sale since we moved here. Going on about 15 years now. It's been there. It would be awesome if I could buy it and open up a wet shaving shop. Unfortunately, Cape Cod, winter time, locals probably aren't going to be looking for a lot of shaving supplies. Summertime, they probably won't be because they're here for fun in the sun, not for shaving supplies. So, I don't know. Maybe y'all can let me know what you think. That'd be kind of cool if I could pull that off. I would love to open a shop here. Cape needs one. Needs more uh, wet shaving anything, to be honest with you. So this omnibus, trying to find the sweet spot, it's still a little bit runny. I love this base though, it's really good. It's just easy to add too much water, which I'm actually very prone to do with the omnibus base. I add too much water and not enough soap. Oh. It smells good. So yeah, I don't know. Open a shop one day, maybe. Who knows? That'd be very cool, though. I want to contribute something. That's one thing that bothers me is, is all the stuff, aside from pictures and talking to people and giving reviews and trying to send people to places to get the good stuff. I don't really have a lot to contribute, in my opinion. And videos, but I kind of do these for me more than anything. Just an added bonus if people end up wanting to go get the stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, hello Andy. I hope I said that. I think I did. His store will be opening here shortly. He already has a lot of stuff in his inventory. I'm really excited for him. Very cool guy. If anyone gets a chance to say hello to him. Who hasn't already met him. Uh, the wet shaving store or shave stats on uh, Instagram. 
And then Jason, I just spoke to you on the phone. That was a couple weeks ago, I think. Time really goes by quick. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> Hope everything's good with you too, brother. Yes, it was a couple weeks. It was Easter. It was right after Easter. I think the day after. Because we were talking about what we did with our kids for Easter. So... Um, so this soap, if you go to Razor Company to get it, 20 bucks at work, Razor Company. Um, the balm is $17.99 and the splash is also $19.99, which isn't bad for what you get. Anyone who knows Barrister Man, you know what I'm talking about. Should have shown you the lather. Lather, I forgot to. That's all right. You can see it on my face. Still, I don't think I had enough soap. A little watery. That's okay. I will set the link. Uh, put the links, like I said. Go grab it up. Decided not to use my barrister man holder today. I was running way behind on what I wanted to get done today, and the video took me forever. Ended up taking a shower, and me being gimpy, everything's going slower than normal, which actually, honestly, drives me bonkers. I was about to say bug F word is what I usually say. Bug. But I won't. Um, also want to say a quick hello to John Kearney. How you doing, buddy? I really appreciate your shout out you did at your last video. You and I have been really busy, man. I tried, I called you out of the blue and you're smoking one of your cigars. We talked briefly, but I was driving, so I had to keep hanging up, calling you back. I haven't talked to you since, but, um, I really appreciate you saying hi to me. All the kind words, um... You got to go check him out on Facebook. It's Cutting with Kearns. Also, same on Instagram. He puts out really good videos. Very knowledgeable. Um, the reason, he's, honestly, man, you're the sole reason I, I still do these videos. Because I was going to quit. I was so nervous and beating myself up. So hard on myself, on my own worst enemies, I've told you. And you just kept saying, don't give up, don't stop. You're really on to something. If you like doing it, who cares? Just keep doing it. All that. Which I did. And I am now part of two affiliates. And, oh yeah, I have one more other thing to announce too. Two affiliates. And I have done two testing. Two tests for bases. Two different bases for two different companies, which is awesome. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, dude. What it's worth too. I missed the beard. I thought it was badass. So just lathering up a little more, just to have some on the side here. I know I'm taking a while, but that's okay. I knew I was gonna take a long time with this video. I'm gonna start doing more videos, I think. John, you had told me also, along with you, Chad, a couple other people, because I had said what's the appropriate amount of time. I'm gonna try to do once a week. And both of you basically said the same thing, which is do Chad, you had said do it until um, it's not fun anymore. And John, you basically said the same thing. You just said as many as you want. Just don't overdo it. Overwhelm yourself. So, I decided, screw it. If I feel like doing a video, I'll do a video. I got so many things in my rotation that I want to use and put on camera that I have not. So, all right. Naked Armor Solomon, 6 eighths. Um, this became, this is like a fancier gold dollar. Um, the blade is Chinese, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily terrible. It's anyone with a gold dollar knows. Um, John, you know, Kearney, you know gold dollars are one of your favorites. I have a gold dollar, the 208, that's my favorite. But this one's a little above the gold dollar, I think, in my opinion. 
The scales are heavy. That's real brass. It's real wood. But I actually kind of like the heavier scales. Not too heavy because it gets top heavy. Makes you want to switch your angle, but I like it. Um, all right. Whoops. Move that hair out of the way. So the announcement I had is that I will be testing a new set of shave bowls. Oh, I forgot my towel, sorry. From a potter. I hope that's a proper term, Kara or Kara. I did tell you I have a YouTube, so on the off chance you see, end up watching this. I'm going to say Kara. I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, she has a company called Winding Pine Pottery. And I talked to her last year. She's very busy, very good at what she does, man. She has some beautiful stuff. You need to go look her up on Instagram too. Winding, at Winding Pine Pottery. She's based out of uh, Newport, Oregon. If you get a chance to look her up, she does a lot of coffee mugs and things of that nature. But I talked to her last year. I found her and I well, there's this beautiful moon, crescent moon mug she made. And just by chance, I decided to reach out to her and said, hey, you do beautiful work. I really like that moon mug. Have you ever tried making shave, shave mugs? said, no, I have no idea there were even shave mugs at all. I said, yeah, there are. I said, uh, between you and me, a lot of people like those personal handmade shave scuttles, shave mugs. You know, maybe you'd want to think about doing that. And I ended up sending her a, a photo of a plastic one. And in my arrogance, I figured she could have done that. You know, in retrospect, she could have done that on her own, which she did. She did some research. Um... But she got back to me. She said, hey, I looked it up. I'm going to give it a shot. And I said, fantastic. Uh, so she got back to me. She sent me a photo of them. She, she did two of them. She did one with a cradle, one without. I don't have them here. I thought about it. I almost brought them up to show them. But I decided I'm going to do my own separate thing with those. Um... But one has a cradle for the brush, one doesn't. They're both beautiful, man. She did an outstanding job. And there's an ulterior motive behind this, aside from the fact that I'm part of this, which I, I love. Thank you, Kara. There's also a final point to doing this. which involves uh, a friend of mine who is an artisan and fellow wet shaver. Won't say that either. He'll probably give it away, but you know who you are. Hello. Um, so I'm going to test them privately. I'm going to be using different size brushes, different types of brushes. I'm going to try with a puck. I'm going to try with soap. I'm going to try with cream. Um, the only thing I can't figure out how to do is to try hot, hot, like even hard water, water, soft water, that hard water, soft water, which I don't know how to do because we have very soft water here. Um, almost got my finger there. That just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to. Test these things out, man. Give them a run for their money. I'm going to do a private video. Send it to, to her. And then if everything goes according to plan, the world will be graced with some new shave mugs. Again, I can't wait, man, to unveil these so people can see them. She does amazing work. Go check her out. At least get a coffee mug. I'm long overdue to get a coffee mug from her. She's really good at what she does. So, 
Can't wait for that. I'll be testing mugs. I've moved on to, to accessories now, which makes me very happy. Very nice lady too, Kara. Very down to earth. Um, she sent me a video of, uh, through direct message of the final product. And she goes, yeah, these turned out pretty badass." <laughs> I was like, yes. Perfect word for it is what I told her. She thought that was funny because they were indeed badass. So stay tuned for that. If and when I, well, I'll put something up here. I just want to ask her first. I don't want to presume, you know, second pass. I know that took a while. Been a while since I've straight razor shaved. I was a little nervous there. I'm going to go against the grain though. That should be fun. You can do the barber pinch. I think it's called. Such a gratifying sound. No water in the scales. As Lynn Abrams says. This base is good. I wish I'd tried their soft heart base. That was before my time, unfortunately. All right. What else? The so spring break was really good. Thursday, I went to downtown Boston with my oldest son. For his first concert. My first concert was when I was 16 and it was for Tool. It was an eye opening experience. I lost a pocket knife to wallet chains. Uh, a couple things of jewelry because I did not know that they would take all that from you upon entry. So that was interesting. So I remembered all that and I remember talking to my son about it. His first concert, if you can believe this, if anyone's familiar with video games, there's a video game called Undertale. Very cute game. I've seen my kids play it. I, you know, I thought I liked it. It's like 32-bit, th uh, I believe. Like Super Nintendo type graphics. But I guess the soundtrack's amazing, and the reason I say that is because the concert was an orchestra that played the soundtrack music to this game called Undertale. So my son wanted to go to an orchestra for his first concert, and he, the first thing I asked, and I shouldn't have, it was just, it made me sound really dickish, but I was like, oh, you know, your, none of your friends could go? Because what 15-year-old gives a shit about going, excuse me, whoops, sorry. Gives a crap, <laughs> flipped out, about going to a concert with his old dad. My son's reply was, no, none of my friends even know I'm going. So, he had his old, his dad in mind when he asked, which warmed my heart. So, my answer was, hell yes, I'll go with you, I'd love to, I'd be honored. We went, we spent the day together, we, we went early. Just because the it was at 7 p.m. rush hour in Boston starts at like 3 and lasts until about 8 or 9. Especially on a uh, Thursday, Friday. Definitely the weekend. And we made a day of it. Went to Taco Bell. Hung out. Got a t-shirt. So that was a lot of fun. That's, you know, that's a memory. Definitely. Oh, and the coffee. I'm drinking... Uh, Dunkin' Donuts original coffee, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. Original blend, the medium. All right, so I'm mostly done. Is that blood? Nope. Wow, I'm doing good. 
knock on wood. Um, I'm going to do touch up. I just got to do the sickle shape because of my stupid neck hair, which grows that way. And I hate doing this, so. Hear it? That's not a sickle shape at all. That's all right. Try to go sideways as I can. Um, then we had the trampoline park. We have some overall chilly weather here. It's been weird. It's supposed to get down to the 40s tonight, which is irritating. I might do another soap vote for a post on Instagram. I don't know. I haven't done one of those in a while. Or what I might do is just say screw it. And pick what I want. And I think what I'm going to do. I have two pucks of Cape. Uh, it's called Cape Cod Spar. And it's literally uh, soap made here on Cape Cod. It's the only company I could find. I have cedar and myrrh, and I have bay rum, and her bay rum smells really good, and there's like little bits of bay leaf in it, so I think I'm going to do that, or to, to officially join the ranks, I think I'm going to use Arco, and here's a dirty little secret, I like Arco. <gasps> Bunch of gasps. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I just like it. I'm in the 10%. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a lot more people out there that like it who won't admit it or just don't care one way or the other. It's not that big of a deal. If you like it, use it. Who cares? I just think it's funny that people get like a big <gasps> out of Arco. You know what I mean? All right. So let me know. I don't know. Let me know what you think and... If you comment, if you want to comment, I would appreciate it. And if you come across this video, here's one thing I, I don't say enough. And I'm taking some advice from, I think you, Joe, at Soda Lart Soap. Hello, Joe. How's it going, man? Great Shea videos. Keep them up. I love your videos. So far, when I come across them, I'm able to watch them on the spot. I'm so behind on a lot of people's videos. I don't mean to be. Tobin, I'm behind by like four for you. Evolve Niffy, I haven't watched one of yours in ages, dude. It's not on purpose. I'm sorry. It's just the more I subscribe to people, the more alerts I get, the more overwhelmed I get, and then I just see it, and then I make a mental note, and then I forget. It's just how I am. I don't mean to. Um, it's nothing personal. Sorry, guys. But where was I going with this? Oh, if you came across this, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um... You know, especially if you're like me, you're, you're relatively new at this and you're coming across stuff for the first time. I, I'm no expert. I'm fully aware I'm not an expert. I've never tried to be uh, a pretender to that title by any means. But I hope me coming in wet behind the ears, pun intended, halfway, um, makes you feel more, at least the video is more human. You know what I mean? Because I remember feeling instantly like, man, I, I don't hold a candle to these guys at all not even close and that's a feeling that I remember very well most of these people were nice it's not that they're they're dicks or anything it's just that I just watched even now um what's his name Bob and Elliot his mustache I don't know if you ever see that guy he does he can shave fast enough to put it in a reel I mean he just <laughs> nope I can't do that I've tried and I nope I'm very very careful with the straights too um Sexy Phil at uh, Canadian Mafia, you just watch him and he's, you know, like it's plastic. I, I still not don't feel comfortable enough to do that. Maybe that'll go away one day. I don't know. But, um, all right, 30 minutes in. Wow, this is going to be a long one. Real quick to show you the shirt. I know Mother's Day is coming up, but amen. 
not big on wearing the yay i'm great dad shirts but that one's awesome i love that message all right i'm gonna pause this I'm gonna rinse off i will be right back hopefully that looked cool last video i did i paused it and it looked like i snapped my fingers and i was back uh speaking of canadian mafia i wanted to say hello to justin uh otherwise known as j mac you always watch these and comment, dude. I really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time, even for these long ones. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'll probably do one every few days. I can't shave daily. This My face hates me for it. Like, look at this. Pretty red. Not a bad shave, though. Not bad. And post-shave with this stuff is so nice. Oh, it's good. And still got a little bit of lather to spare. Oh, it smells so good. If you're a sandalwood fan, I'd try this one out. It is different, but I, I really like that it's different a lot. Um, that alone makes it worth trying, in my opinion. Had my Allen stick. Didn't even need to use it. How about that? I thought for sure I'd be breaking out that bad boy. I, I've never used an Allen stick on camera. I rarely use it at all. But the straights, I usually break it out. Got a zip right there. I was trying to avoid that puppy too. Look at that thing. Stupid. Hate that. Um, I like Osma, but Omega is the one I use in a pinch. I just like, you know, it's more convenient because it's in the case and everything. All right. Anywho. Time for the splash. Oh, this stuff's good. I also want to mention uh, to uh, Josh, uh, gent behind us sent. He's doing a giveaway. He finally reached his 200. I think he's at 208 now. Congratulations, buddy. I just thought of him because he does 20 shakes of the aftershave he did with at least with Phoenix. Um, I would imagine they come out differently. Phoenix and, uh, especially ProRezo. ProRezo doesn't like coming out. So you got to really shake it. 20, I think, would be way too much for Barrister and Man. But it just made me laugh because he was like, 20 might be too many for some people. I was like, nah. I love reeking. That's the reason we buy this stuff, man. I want to reek like the, you know, like the uh, thing I'm using to shave with. Oh, that splash is where it's at. That splash has a real. This smells like you just climbed the damn tree. Oh. Oh, that smells good. It's like I just ripped off a handful of the leaves and just puffed them. 33 minutes, screw it. I forget who it was that said it. Might have been J Mac, I don't know. Someone said if they want to fast forward. Might have been Blair. I don't know. Hello, Blair. <laughs> Tobin, hello. Who else? Good Lord. Eric. Eric Adams. Hello, buddy. I'm behind on yours as well. Mom. Hello, Mom. I almost forgot my mother. Um, got a lot of advice from a lot of good people on here. But they said if they want to fast forward, they can fast forward. Damn it. There's the mail right now. Right at the end of this. Uh, go figure. Well, I can tell you what it was at least. It was a, uh, not Wilkinson sword. No, I can't tell you what it was. Crap. Oh. Boss? Is it a boss razor? It was Lucky Tiger Splash. You know what? Give me a sec. Let me go get it. 35 minutes, whatever. I'll do a quick unboxing. Let me pause this. I shall return. Hey, guys. Didn't come. Go figure. How stupid is that? I should have listened to my instinct. I was like, no, in the video. Um, I forget. It's a bar of soap. It's an actual bar of shave soap where you cut it off, like, back in the day. I forget the name of it. Been wanting it for a long time. I'm sure I'll mention it during the mail call. Lucky Tiger Splash. A razor. Bad as it sounds, I can't remember what brand it is, but since Bradley, hello Bradley, sent me that butterfly, the Gillette flare tip, I've been looking into uh, different butterflies now. I just bought a uh, 
Wilkinson sword that I need to use on here. Next video, I think I'm gonna use that. And this other one I got, butterfly. So we'll see. All right, guys, sorry about that. 35 minutes, whatever. I enjoyed it. Nice to be back. It's very therapeutic for me, like I said. Um, <laughs> I told my wife once the weather got warm, I'd get rid of this. She said, yeah, right, we'll see. So far, she's been correct. I've been getting compliments about it. I just got one the other day, not to sound pompous or anything. I, I didn't expect it. Um, I had a neighbor who I've known for a long time say it fits me very well. And then I had a guy be a fact at the trampoline park. He did the uh, snidely whiplash like hey, hey, thing. I'm like, hey, you're funny. But he said it looked badass. So I was like, eh, I let it slide, I guess. Anywho, um, two things I thought of on my dash out the door barefoot like an idiot. And the reason I say that is because I stepped on a rock that really hurt on my good foot. Otherwise, I like being barefoot. Um, so this is limited edition, the sandalwood. And it does have, I think it was cedarwood oil. There's something in it that some people are sensitive to. There was a disclaimer for it. I think it was cedarwood oil. It might not be, but there is something in it. So if you have super sensitive skin, I have sensitive skin, but not ridiculously so. Um, I mean, with chemicals, at least. Again, knock on wood, I haven't found anything that has made me break out horribly. But if you do, just maybe read that disclaimer. But aside from that, man, you got to go get this stuff. Now I smell like I climbed a cedarwood tree. It, it's this is definitely probably I like it better than Pro Razor Red, and that's that's probably my favorite um, sandalwood is the Pro Razor Red because I think it smells closer closest to the Indian sandalwood. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you. 37 minutes. That's all right. Appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end of this. Listen to me ramble on. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Appreciate everyone. Again, um, Cape Cod Wet Shaving at uh, Wet Shaving Store. If you decide to go purchase from him, put that code in. And the Razor Company, again, I'll put the links to these so you can go straight to uh, the Razor Company's website and buy them, or put Cape John if you decide to go get something else. But I sent you to the Razor Company after you watch this. I would appreciate it. And also, one quick shout out to uh, Naked Armor. Naked Armor Solomon, go check them out. Um, I actually just applied to be a um, brand ambassador for these guys. So wish me luck. They sent me an application through my email. So what's wrong with me? Carrier pigeon, you know? I don't know why I go overboard with the descriptions, but yeah, go check out Naked Armor. This is the Solomon. I like it. They also have a, a tan, you know, brown wood one instead of black wood. This was just under a hundred, I believe, for a six eights. So go give them a try. They also have an awesome brush. Uh, be a fact, my favorite synthetic brush that I own is from them because I'm not big on synthetics, but this one actually is closest to real uh, boar hair, in my opinion. But yeah, all right, that's about it, guys. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm sorry if I didn't mention anybody, but I just have a terrible memory. <laughs> and I try to cram in a lot since it's been a while. So take care, everybody. Happy shaving. Be nice to each other. Take care.